All right, I'm Nick. Today we are going to unpack or unbox the Kimber KDS9C. This is the railed version. They do make it without the rail. Obviously, this one has a rail. I opted for the rail. I prefer that. I'd like the option to put a light on there. Personally, everyone is different. I probably never will, but I like that option, okay? Uh, the only reason we have this is the local gun store. I reached out to ask about the Springfield Prodigy comp and the Hellcat comp and when they would come in. He told me next week. He told me he had this Kimber in there, which I had saw the other day. And I decided to go down and pick it up. I did buy it. That's my receipt. It comes in a cardboard box. There's a bag in here. I'm a big fan of pistols that come with bags. I think it helps organization. You can take this to the range. You can't take a cardboard box to the range. You can't take a plastic box like this to the range either. There's just no room in it for anything. So let's unbag it. You get your manual here. You get a sticker and your safety lock. And you get a set of Allen wrenches, okay? That's the only thing in that pocket. It's a nice bag though. Kind of like these little uh, pull tabs are coated in plastic. You do get two magazines with the gun, which you guys already know. I hate that. I would love to get three, four, five. Give me as many magazines as possible. It just makes for a better experience. That's a flush fitting 15 round magazine. And there's an 18 round magazine in here as well. that comes with the pistol. I'll get rid of that for now. And there she is, man. She is gorgeous. That's the biggest part about it. Probably the biggest selling feature of the whole pistol is it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, ambi safety control does not have an ambi slide release. Most 1911, 2011 type guns do not. Uh, very smooth. That's your 18 round magazine right there. Comes with three dot night sights. I'm a big fan of that. Gun is very smooth out of the box. Points really well. The slide serrations are perfect. You know, a lot of these companies now are kind of overdoing the slide serration, so you don't get the benefits of the slide serration. You just get some fancy looking things that aren't that functional. This is very nice. Points well, feels good in the hand. Safety is easy to use. Trigger is crisp. The reset, very tactile, not very long. Look forward to seeing how it shoots. Uh, standard rail, which is nice because all of your existing lights, depending on what adapter you have, will work. I like that. It's nice just in case you're going to use it for a home defense pistol. Having a light on there or the ability to put a light is super nice. Uh, let's see here. Barrel is fluted, obviously, to reduce weight, all that good stuff like normal. Looks cool anyways, right? Uh, how the function? We'll find out. Uh, I'm excited to shoot it. Out of the box is really nice. Uh, the trigger is said to be between three and a half and four and a half pounds from the factory. Obviously, that will probably break in over time, but we're here, so we're just going to do a little test. Put it right in the center of the trigger. That's just over four pounds, and we'll do it one more time just to have a little bit of consistency. Obviously, I've done it off camera. Four to four and a half is the number. There it is right there. Yeah, same thing. Okay, so no issues with that. Four to four and a half. Ideally, it breaks in a little bit over time. But the weight of the trigger is not that important to me. Just clean, crisp, break, repeatable, all that good stuff's what I like. Magazine release, obviously reversible. I am left-handed, but I'm so used to using guns with the magazine on the right side, I typically do not reverse it. Very smooth gun out of the box, though. So I'm excited to go shoot it, okay? So we'll make a full playlist about this pistol as well, just like all the other pistols. And next video, I'll be out back shooting still targets with it. Thanks for watching.